Hi, I'm Mark Haglish here from Texas Kennedy Jiu Jitsu, and I'm gonna I'm gonna work on just a, a few things to follow up on a Kimura attack uh, from the position that we did uh, initial in that side control one uh, position. So he's gonna be in here. He has his elbows in. I'm in side control. This arm is gonna come back and block the hip. This one's gonna come over, and then as I come over, I'm gonna start to step. I pull my pull this arm up under his, his armpit here. As, as I turn, I'm going to catch this arm here. I'm going to slide down so that I have control. My elbow is going to be behind his ribs, not in front where I might, you know, be have less control and possibly get rolled. Okay, so I'm here. And then once I get here, I'm going to come into this position. Now I can hop up and start to attack with the Kimura. My, my knees are kind of pinching here, controlling his body. Your opponent always, you know, will try to grab something. Depending on what they grab, just for uh, viewing purposes, I'll move his hand. If he grabs this collar, the far collar, then I'm just going to keep this grip here. And what I can do is hold, and then this hand comes to the collar here, and I'm going to push as I use my back to pull this away, and then I can come in for the, the Kimura. So if he grabs this collar, I'm just going to hold here, here. I push down as I pull up with my back, then I can come into the position. Sometimes uh, sometimes he might get a good grip here. You can't really do it on this one quite as well. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to show you a couple options. One of them is not very nice. Now involve me going from here to bringing my elbow across his wrist. And then I can use my I can use my arm, like my elbow, on near his wrist, kind of make this grip here, and I can start to turn to put pressure. He'll put pressure on his wrist, and a lot of times he'll strip that grip as well. So many times, though, the pressure on the wrist will be enough. Okay. Another. Another possibility here is um, what I'm going to do I'm in this position, I'm just going to pin down, or his arm can be up in some manner. I'm just going to take and I step this leg across here, and I kind of scoop his arm, and I'm going to sit back. When I sit back, I open this knee outward to uh, block out this arm a little bit. Okay, and then once I'm here, I can come in and start to attack with the with the arm bar. Here. So here at this position, I'm gonna step, scoop. This knee is gonna come out to block his arm out here. Occasionally, uh, you know, when your opponent's fairly strong, you get in this position. What you can do is just take your leg and throw it over. So I get here, and I'm going to turn, and I'm going to throw my leg over his hip. See, once I throw my leg over his hip here, I can use my legs to push him away, and you can create a lot of pressure there to... Uh, Break that grip. So here, get this position. And I'm going to take a step here. Oh, once I step, I can be here or here. This is a little better. This leg is under, over his neck. I can pull away and then 
rotate my body for the computer. Okay, so um, that's just a few follow-ups on the, the Kimura tube.